Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. Welcome to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese. Our focus today is the results of following Jesus' pattern. The results of following Jesus' pattern. If you follow Jesus' pattern, for the ministry, you will have results. If you following man's pattern, for the ministry, you may have results, but those results will not last. But when you're following Jesus' pattern, Following Jesus' model, you will have results, and your results shall remain. Yesterday we talked about, and Jesus went about Galilee, teaching in the synagogues. And preaching in the the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases among the people. What was the results? When you're healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases, when you go into a city, or go into a state, go into a country, you will find that you will have results. What was the results? Come on, come on, come on. Follow Jesus' pattern. Man's pattern. The devil's pattern. Even the devil has a pattern. He'll copy Jesus' pattern. We may call it man's pattern. Who's behind man's pattern? The devil. Masike. He's the antichrist. He goes against Christ. He don't want to do it Christ's way. I'm pushing in. I'm believing God for all manner of sickness, all manner of diseases that stand before me. This is the Jesus model. This is the Jesus pattern. For results. And his fame went through all, all Syria. There's a fame. There's a fame that comes with it. Hallelujah. This is part of the results. Jesus' fame went out throughout all Syria. And they brought unto him all sick people that were taken with diverse diseases. I'm telling you, we were in Brazil. And one lady found out that we were staying at the National Hotel. And she had a spirit of depression. She had a spirit of suicide, and we were waiting for our ride to go to our next assignment, and this woman came to the hotel, and she asked for prayer. She came. She sought us out. She sought us out. 
Someone dropped her off at the hotel. She was a, a vagabond type of spirit. And she had her children with her. And the children witnessed the whole thing. She came and told us that she wanted prayer. And we asked her, what do you want God to do for you? She said she's uh, depressed. She's suicidal. Pray for me. We prayed for her in the lobby of the hotel and I noticed that when a woman placed her hand on her chest and then uh, Pastor Alvin Jackson placed her, his hands on the woman's head and all of a sudden the, the woman began to uh, get in a position as if she's about to vomit and I grabbed the trash can and put the trash can uh, before and she began to uh, 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 yield to the Lord and that spirit had to come out. It had to obey the man and the woman of God. That spirit don't like the fire of God. And that spirit began to come out in the name of Jesus. Now, according to the results of the following Jesus pattern, you will be able, uh, people will begin to bring, or uh, people will come to you to that that were uh, that 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 have dip divers diseases people that are tormented man can you imagine people can't sleep at night people having bad dreams people have uh, forces that come in the night season and they're being tormented yeah I break the spirit of torment Offer your light in the name of Jesus where you have a good sleep. Every um, disease that try to come up against your life, I break its powers in the name of Jesus. Every disease that attack the mind, that attack the body, my say, that attack the organs, I cancel its plans in the name of Jesus. Even in your emotions, my sicked out about she, ye corandibo, shiando bobo seke. I command it to cease right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, these tormenting spirits they would come, they would bite push parts of your body. And, and afflict you, and then when you wake up in the morning, you got scars on your body. Uh, come on, this is tormenting. My sick it out of my sick. Some people are afraid to go to sleep with the lights off because they're being tormented in the night. They walk in a spirit of fear. My sick it out of my sick. And those that were possessed with devils, I'm telling you, even when we were in Brazil, uh, our pastor. Dwayne Owens uh, laid hands on a man and began to pray, and the man manifest as a pit bull. And he told that spirit to come out in the name of Jesus. And Pastor Dwayne Owens never cast out a devil before in his life, and he saw it firsthand. It's not to say that we don't have demons in. Uh, in in Michigan or in America, it's just that he was never put in a position to um, pray for someone to tell uh, to, to to tell them about the love of God and and through prayer. And I'm telling you, as he began to pray, that demon came out so easily. So just imagine in his own church, in his own home, in his own city, he can tell these spirits to come out. In the name of Jesus. This is the result when you are going forth and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. And those that were lunatic, oh my Lord, we we are seeing an increase in this area, the lunatic spirit. We are asking God to uh, give us the right wisdom on how to deal with the lunatic spirit how to deal with the spirit of suicide. Uh, we're asking God to give us the right insight on how to deal with blindness, how to deal with MS, Lord, how to deal with cancer. Give us the right insight. And we know we use the name of Jesus, but sometimes we don't see the results. And so, Lord, we're asking you 
to uh, help us because we're believing now in the teaching and the preaching and going forth and healing all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases that we will see the results where people will begin to bring people to us. We'll stand in the Jordan and, and people will come to us. They will stand right there in the Jordan, just like John the Baptist. And the people were summoned. They were coming and being baptized. Even Jesus came to the Jordan. Hallelujah. And so we're believing there's a place where we can stand and people will come. Just like um, Jesus, he went out throughout all Syria and his fame went forth. And people brought the sick to Jesus. Hallelujah. With different types of diseases and those that were tormented and those were possessed with the devil. You know, in Africa, sometimes they chain the people up that were that are possessed with the devil. They put chains around their legs. They put chains around their arms. I mean, I saw literally like a um, a, 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 a a chain from a motorcycle around a man's leg because uh, he was possessed with the devil. And they wanted him not to run away. They didn't didn't want him. They don't want to fight with him. So they chain him up. And those, and then the man of God who prayed for him, I don't believe he set the man free. So we'll believe in God that we can uh, heal all manner of sickness and all manner of diseases. And we'll have the results of, in this hour, to uh, heal uh, those that are, diverse types of diseases and sickness and tormented those who are being tormented and possessed with the devil and the lunatics and those that have palsy, praise the Lord. And so we're believing God, just like Jesus. Jesus is our model and he healed them. He he didn't say heal some of them. He said he healed them who they brought. Everyone that was brought to Jesus, Jesus healed. Matter of fact, you don't even see Jesus. He said, well, he did say in one place he could do very little signs and wonders all because of their unbelief. So when they begin to bring them to Jesus, that's a sign right there of people releasing their faith. Hey, I'm taking my son, my daughter to Jesus because I know he's the one that can help them because I'm hearing all these other testimonies, how people being set free even the woman who heard about who had the issue of blood, I would assume that she heard about how people were touching Jesus and being healed. And she said, hey, when I see Jesus, uh, if I can touch the hem of his garment, I will be made whole. So I'm believing God in these last days we'll be able to release um, uh, uh, people from uh, uh, diverse diseases, torments, possess people who are possessed with devils and people that are lunatics and people who are walking with palsy and 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 then they'll be healed by the precious name of Jesus Christ because we're teaching the word of God we're preaching the gospel of the kingdom and we're believing that we we'll heal all manner of sickness and heal all manner of diseases Well, thank you for listening to 12 Minutes of Meditation by Dr. Cheese. God bless you.